Hello guys, in this video, I will be teaching you how to fully understand the resizing feature of auto layout. So let's get into the video. First of all, I want to design a simple card that I will demonstrate how the resizing feature of auto layout works just right here. But before that, we should proceed first on analyzing its every feature now we have a parent frame here and this yellow line this is the parent frame and the green line is the child frame wherein all of them are being set to auto layout now to fully understand the resizing feature you should fully understand these three options that we have the fixed width, the hug contents, and the fill container. First of all, the fixed width, what is it? As we can see, on the horizontal space of our auto layout, it is set as fixed width, which is we can automatically or manually set the values of our width. For example, we can add this or set this as 300. That so as you can see, all the elements under child frame are at the center because we have all set the, the alignment at the center. Now we fully understand the fixed width. But once we move the anchors or resizing, is the width of the frame changes as well and it will automatically be set back to fixed width. So let's see, once we created hug contents and we move this it will automatically get back to fixed width so now we understand what is fixed width we can now proceed to hug contents basically hug contents is a feature wherein the frame will only be limited on the contents inside of that frame since our child frame has only three objects wherein we have rectangle 1, 2, and 3. For the child frame, we set it to hug contents uh, respecting the values of 10 for all its areas from top, bottom, left, and right. That is why we can see a space here that is equivalent to 10 pixels. Now, if we add one more rectangle, control c control v we can see that the child frame also expanded respecting the value of hug contents since we added a frame it will automatically resize itself based on the frame based on the object that we have added always respecting the values from the child frame auto layout which has 11 pixels spacing and 10 pixels padding lastly we have the fill container fill container is also the opposite of hug contents fill container expanded its all sizes from width since we set the uh, horizontal space to fill container its parent frame will be respected as well it will go beyond all of the sides for the parent frame which has also an auto layout values for its padding of 25 pixels that is why we can see a spacing here so fill container uh, automatically expands based on the size of the parent frame so if we resize our parent frame just like this our child frame also follows it since its values in here are fill container if we re if we re decrease it also it decreases the the child frame so that is how the resizing of the auto layout works let's try this out in this design i have here an auto layout of the title section you can see here title and this one is the let's name this as subtitle 
now we can we have it as the horizontal space as fixed width but when we set it to hug contents it will only be limited until here t let's try as you can see it only limits here and we have another auto layout for the contents this one we can see here it says to fill container wherein the vertical space will be flexed from bottom to top respecting the values of this parent frame which has an 8 pixels padding that is why we can see there is a space here or gap of 8 pixels and then this another frame also has an 8 pixels value of padding which also has fill container but if we do not have or set it as fill container the frame size will only be limited from here it's like that so what happens we if we decided to have a fill container to all our designs and hug contents that will be uh, be based on how your components work so basically if we have this set as fill container once we resize this as you can see the button here expanded as well since it has a value of fill container but then this frame here is not expanding because it is set to hug contents let's convert this into fill container and as you can see it expands right here and we needed this option button to be right here and we just have to set this title uh, section to fill container there you go so we can have a expanded type of frame for our card that is very responsive for our designs if we have contents like here or details such as something words that are very long just like that it does not follow or it does not move responsively because if we move through this it's set to hug contents we have to set this to fill container just like that and because it is fill container the container of this page is only limited to here which is only set with hug contents so let's try to do that fill container and this one as well fill container so as you can see even the longer uh, contents will now move responsively based on the size of this parent frame just like that so let's set this uh, also as fill container for the text and its frame fill container so if we move this just like that it responsively moves all throughout its frames as you can see here let's try this one fill container this one as well fill container fill container just like that so it moves basically on the size that you set for your parent frame in this way you can easily create responsive designs wherein from converting from mobile to web design or web uh, layout it is very easy and consumes less time when creating these types of design that will help you out through building uh, bigger projects and that's all for this video thank you for watching and i hope you have understand now how this uh, resizing feature of auto layout works if you're enjoying this video be sure to like and subscribe and see you on the next one